Hi guys and welcome to my channel Carnival of Creativity. Today's try something new video is going to be jewellery making and this specifically is going to be clay jewellery making. So if you like this video please make sure to subscribe and without further ado I'm just going to hop right into it. So the first thing you want to do, the, the necklace that I'm going to show you how to make today is a mixture of normal um, sort of jewellery making with wire and beads and things as well as incorporating your own things that you've made with clay. So for this pendant I made a um, clay button shape so all you want to do to make this is grab two buttons that are the same like shape, um, get the ones with a nice ridge in just so that it gives it a bit of that extra button detail. All you want to do is grab your clay, whatever colour you want to use, I'm using this silver oven bake clay, and all you want to do is roll it out a little bit and warm up a little bit so it becomes nice and soft and squeezable and malleable in your hands, and then pop this in the middle of the two buttons, put the um, ridged face down into the clay so that that will impress its um, pattern into the clay and just squeeze it as much as you possibly can until you've got the clay oozing out the sides all the way round. Once you've done this you can then grab a knife and just scissor, not scissor but I don't know, cut off the um, excess round the side with the knife up tight to the edge of the buttons then you can gently pick away the buttons so that you're just left with the imprinted piece of clay that should look like a button. Now this next step you can do before taking the buttons off or after. I actually did it before taking the buttons off but this depends how you want your button to look, whether you want a two hole button or a four hole button, where you want the holes to be and things like that in terms of how you're going to attach them to the necklace. But I decided to go with the pattern of the buttons so I grabbed a cocktail stick or a toothpick or whatever you've got that's just thin and pointy and poke your holes through the buttons and then into the clay. This means that it will create nice precise points and holes in the clay that aren't going to distort the sh actual shape of the clay. You want to poke all of the holes in from one side and then poke all of them in from the other side as well just so that they're nice neat holes on both sides and then pick away your buttons if you haven't done already before popping it in your oven according to your instructions and baking the clay. So once you've done that now comes the jewellery making part and you can really go to town with how you want this to look. You can have it as a statement necklace so you can have um, jump rings that attach to either side of the button with beads going around sort of and then a bit of chain or you can do what I did which was I grabbed a jump ring, put it in through one of the holes of the button that we'd made um, and then shut this and then attached another jump ring to this that I put some little um, dainty coloured beads on and then another jump ring to hook the um, beaded jump ring and the button jump ring together which I then threaded through my necklace chain with that as well. Um, and the sky really is the limit. You can do all sorts of different jewellery designs. I think these button Play buttons would even look really cute as little dangly earrings as well. Um, so yeah, if you like this video and these ideas and things, please make sure to subscribe and I will see you all next time. Bye guys!